I'm Michael Jenny, and this is Tom's monologue from 500 Days of Summer. Allison, listen, it's great to meet you. Really, you're a, you're a very attractive girl. But I should tell you right off the bat, this, this isn't, I mean, it's not gonna, you know, go anywhere. You seem like a real sweet girl, and I just... I don't want you to get hurt. You know what I mean? I know we just met like three minutes ago, but you're probably looking for somebody to get serious with. Uh, someone with potential. Uh, someone who'll take you out to eat a few times, uh, see a movie, fool around a little bit, and the next thing you know, we're getting a dog, and you're moving in, and... That's... that's not me. You wanna come inside, have some chicken fingers? Awesome! But all that other stuff, I gotta tell you up front, I'm just not ready. I liked this girl. Loved her! What did she do? She took a giant shit on my face! Literally! Wait, no, not literally. Jesus, that's disgusting. Look. I messed up. On the one hand, I want to forget about her. But on the other, I think she's the only person on earth who could make me happy. Every time I think I'm over the hump, I'll, I'll have a dream, or I'll see some girl who looks like her from behind. And that's it. Back to square one. And you know what? I'm gonna get her back. I'm Michael Jenny, and this is Jesse's monologue from Breaking Bad. What happens now? I'll tell you what happens now. Your scumbag brother-in-law is finished. Done. You understand? I will own him when this is over. Every cent he earns, every cent his wife earns, is mine. Any place he goes, anywhere he turns, I'm gonna be there, grabbing my share. He'll be scrubbing toilets in Tijuana for pennies, and I'll be standing over him to get my cut. He'll see me when he wakes up in the morning, and when he crawls to sleep in whatever rat holes left for him after I shred his house down. I will haunt his crusty ass forever until the day he sticks a gun up his mouth and pulls the trigger just to get me out of his head. That's what happens next. Tell us something about your family. Well, I come from an immigrant family who immigrated from Hungary about 60 years ago. Everyone in my family, except for me and one of my cousins, has gone into the medical field uh, to find their profession. Uh, a couple surgeons, a couple uh, psychiatrists, but I am the only person in my family to pursue the arts. Uh, what makes you really angry? One thing that makes me really angry is people who can't take a joke and who are completely humorless. I find those to be the worst kinds of people to communicate with because a lot of my personality is incorporating humor and trying to find the funny parts of life and without that I am just unbearably bored. Aside from acting, what is another unrelated passion that you might want to pursue if it turned out that this pr pr profession didn't hold your interest? Uh, well, I couldn't see myself working anywhere outside of the theater slash film and TV industry, so if acting didn't work out, I'd probably want to find a career somewhere behind the scenes, either it be potentially a talent agent to uh, look for different actors and try to hire different actors onto different projects, or potentially something completely different, such as photography, uh, like cinema photography and location scouting and really just a lot of stuff in the film industry. Thank you.